In this tutorial, we'll take a look at Excel 2016 and the histogram function that is included inside of the data analysis tool pack that will support a Pareto analysis as well as a traditional histogram. So we've got a sample data file here. We've got some items that have been sold uh, to customers potentially. There's item one, item two, item three, item four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, and nine. So we've got a mix of items. We still see the cost per order. Uh, the item that was purchased, what the quantity was, this is just an extension, we can see the multiplication there, and when the order was placed. So for our histogram, uh, histograms group data together into what we normally call buckets, but in Excel they call them bins. And so uh, let's take a look at the cost per order, and we're doing an analysis to see, analysis to see um, how much money is typically spent on each one of our orders. So we'll go over to data data analysis, which of course gets us into the tool pack function. Histogram is one of the options. It asks you what information you want to do the histogram on. So we're going to just do the cost per order column. You see there's a lot of different values in that. Uh, for this time we're just going to not put a bin range in. That means that Excel will decide what range of values go into each bin. And the rule of thumb is usually to have five to seven bins when you're doing a histogram. More than seven, it's a little hard to analyze. Less than seven doesn't give you rich enough uh, information. So it's just a rule of thumb, thumb that five to seven would be good. I'm going to click my labels on because I included that uh, label in the very top. Uh, I'm also going to turn on the Pareto down here and I'm going to request chart output. If you don't turn on the chart output then you're just going to get a table of frequency distribution which depending on what you're doing might be fine but if you turn chart output on you will receive the frequency distribution table as well as the column chart so you really have I think both of the pieces you'll need and then Pareto just means that the bins when they're displayed will be from highest to lowest. So again, Pareto principle is to put your greatest effort where the uh, greatest results are, and so that would be where most of your dollars are. So if you do those two and just click OK, it's going to put it into a new tab for us. Make this a little larger so it's a little easier to read. Um, it again, it created the bins. So what we're seeing here is the largest number that goes in that bin. Here's the largest number in the second bin, the third bin. They're in order because I asked for a Pareto analysis. This frequency has absolutely no meaning, so we really should delete that. These are our bins and that's the frequency. So we see we had 27 orders that had values greater than 15,997. We had 15 orders that had values greater than 31,926 and right on down the line. Uh, let's jump back over one since we did so well on that. <clears throat> let's go back over to the data again. And if you'd like to set your own bins, and I'm just looking down these values to see what kind of values we have. I see some 127, 89, so it's up to me to kind of set the bins. Let's go orders that are over 100,000, 80,000, <clears> uh, 70,000. So I'm just going to put them, and you can place these anywhere you want in your spreadsheet. You just have to tell Excel where to find your bins. And I'm going to go all the way to, oops, 20,000. There we go. All right, I'm going to go into our data analysis tool again, histogram again, but this time there's a bin range option. And I'm going to tell Excel to use the bins that I've designated rather than letting it designate. And we'll see the difference in the results. So I'm going to hit OK. My labels are still on Pareto, so it'll come highest to lowest in chart options. There we go. A little different picture. So if there's a reason that you want to see uh, these kind of breaks, it looks like our greatest orders were around $10,000. Then there's $20,000. There's $30,000, $70,000. 80,000, 50,000. So for the highest frequency to the least frequency, so and I'll get rid of this silly legend again so everything's a little cleaner. Might want to update this title a little bit. This is uh, um, order value histogram. So just a quick shot at that. And then here's our frequency distribution table. 